Mr. Ditzler, you were doing some work for a period of time for Mr. Hill in pool maintenance. Correct. How many years did you work? Six years. Did you work for him as an independent contractor or you a paid employee? Independent contractor. Were you paid by check or cash? Personal check. What does that mean, personal check? It wasn't a payroll check where he took taxes out. You filed tax returns every year? I did, yes. Did you report all this money? Yes. How much money did you earn, let's say, in 2015? Approximately 32000 And did Mr. Hill give you $32,000 in checks? Approximately, yes. Did you do any other work in, say, 2015, other than work for Mr. Hill? I buy and sell various items at auctions and online, and I sell them on eBay and Craigslist. And I've done that for about 10 years. And I assume, based upon what I'm reading, somebody is going through a divorce. Who is that? Mr. Hill did. What about you? 17 years ago. Do you have children? My son's 18. Was Mr. Hill ever contacted by your former wife? I believe so, yes. Recently? According to Mr. Hill, yes. To find out, I assume, what your wages were, what you were getting paid? Yes. Is that because you were in arrears on payment of either child support or alimony? No, Your Honor. She wanted to increase the rate of child support. At the current time, I owe... At the current time, you owe? I owe 800 But she had gone back to court for an increase? Correct. When was that? Mid-May or early June. I don't know exactly. It is your claim in this proceeding that Mr. Hill owes you for some back wages. You and Mr. Hill did, in fact, part company. In what month? It was May 2nd. I'm sorry, May 3rd, 2016. Around the same time your former wife contacted him? Correct. And at that time, you were owed some money? Yes. My reading of this is that you went in and that you went into his office. He let you go. He owed you some money. And you wanted the keys back. That's correct. He, he had a keys. He had a keys for all of the houses that he serviced or the outside correct. of the property yes. that he serviced for your company. And those were approximately 40 keys or 20 keys? 40 or more. Probably. 40 or more. Yeah. You wanted the keys. He wanted his salary. Correct. His income. Can you tell me, you have a pool maintenance company? Yes, ma'am. How many employees do you have? Uh, two. And what's the name of your company? Neighborhood Pool Service. Do you pay them a straight check, or do you take withholding? Uh, they're contracted. It's uh, 1099. And you 1099 Mr. Ditzler as well? Correct. Your Honor, I've never received a 1099 from Mr. Hill in six years. So I guess he made... I got it. Go ahead. I got it. You gave him the keys, and he gave you the two checks. And when you went to the bank to cash the two checks, he had stopped payment on the checks. Well, we met. It wasn't in his office. We met every Tuesday and Thursday to get supplies. He supplied the material. So I met on the Tuesday morning after I had worked three quarters of the day. He met me, told me he had talked to my ex-wife. She told him that I had been stealing his customers and his chemicals. He wanted his, his supplies and his tools. And he unloaded his tools personally out of my truck, put them in his truck. He wanted his keys. I said, I want my check. And he didn't want to do it. We went back and forth for a second on a little street in Beverly Hills. And um, he finally agreed to give me a check in exchange for the keys. I immediately went to the bank. And within 10 minutes, I was in Studio City. And I went to cash the check. And they had called him on the phone. And they had stopped payment on it. Why would they call him on the phone? To verify the, that I was supposed to be having that check in hand. I wanted to cash the check from his branch. So they wanted to verify that he gave me the check. I see. You didn't want to put it in your bank. No. You wanted to make sure it got cash. Yeah. How and much was the check for? That check was for 1570 1570 And you accepted that in payment of your wages. Yes. And the other, I had another check that had just deposited two days prior for $900. It was in my bank. That you had deposited that he gave you? The week prior. And that... Then I realized that two days after the other check was no good that he stopped payment on that check in addition, which made my account overdrawn and I was charged mm -hmm. fees. Okay, Mr. Hill, it's on you. Essentially what happened was I was contacted by his ex-wife. She was looking for I don't care what, she, what she, I don't care what she said to you. Okay. Actually, I don't she care. She informed me that... No, listen to me. That's hearsay, and you can't tell me what she said to you. Okay. Do you understand? 